holder of a legion. In any country's capital city, go to the building where the country's leader works. When inside, locate the visitor's desk and ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of a legion. The worker's expression will freeze and he will ask you to leave. Do not obey. Instead, keep asking about once a minute. After some time, maybe minutes, maybe hours, the worker will finally give in. By this time, he will be close to crying, probably even collapsing due to the pressure you're putting onto him by the mere mentioning of this holder's name. Depressively, he will rise and take you into a part of the building that no one else even seems to notice exists. It looks exactly like the rest of the capital would in a thousand years. The walls are cracked and sagging, the support pillars are buckled and leaning dangerously, the paint is faded and almost completely peeled off the walls, the pictures are torn, faded and hanging askew, and the carpet underfoot is rotted and full of bugs. You will be taken deep into these hallways, deep down below the surface. The worker will take you to a door further below than any other in the building, possibly even a hundred meters below the basement. This is where your last chance to turn back is. Should you decide to go into this door, your fate will be sealed, and there will be no chance of ever leaving alive. Turn back if you want to find other pieces. If not, well, then ask the worker to unlock the door. He will beg you to leave, tears flowing over his cheeks. And he will, if you keep asking him to open the door, try to scream at you. But he should give in if you are determined enough. He will open the door. Enter and it will be closed behind you and locked. Now is no turning back, and no matter what you do, you will eventually die. The beings creeping in the shadows of the room have already begun to leech your life from your body, and you will feel older with every second. Run as fast as you can to the door on the other side of the room and enter it. The beings here are simply minor demons, not even capable of scaring the smallest child. Follow the red path you see, and you will soon reach a wooden door. Knock thrice. If you are lucky, someone will ask you to stay where you are. Your death will be a quick one. Should he instead tell you to enter, do so. Your feelings do not matter. Nothing matters after you have entered this room. Here you will see them, all behind a kind of force field that repels anything coming too close. You will see two thousand of them, precisely two thousand. Or rather, one thousand and ninety-nine hundred and ninety-nine. The last of them is held by the person in the middle of the room. But you will also see things that cannot be described by human words. Things that show that this very room could be a tiny part of hell. Things that might drive you mad if you look at them for too long. Walk closer to the one in the middle, him, her, it. It does not matter what the being there is. Ask him. Why do you hide them? He will answer you. He will tell you how he got his first one, and then proceeded to look for all those others you see around you. 
The tale might drive you mad. It might kill you. It could do anything to you. But in the case that nothing happens, he will ask you to take his object. It is attached to his chest, but do not even come close to it. Tell him the following. I came to see, not to touch. You may now let me leave. He will then laugh. He will laugh even worse than the devil, more evil than anything in the world. He will then say a simple sentence. Your fate is sealed. The object on his chest will begin to glow and you will feel pain. Then madness. And finally, death. You have three choices here. One is to accept your fate and descend to the lowest levels of hell for eternity. The second is to kill him promptly and speedily, but to do so is to destroy the final object and to end your search forever. The third is to produce the first object. If you do, he will scream and attempt to attack you. Do not worry, he can't get past the object. Eventually he will begin to melt as he dashes himself against the force field generated by the symbol of madness you hold in your hands. Do not open your eyes until no more sound is heard. Toss the first object away and look. Where the thing once stood, a single gigantic diamond lies twinkling on the floor. Grab it. It will embed itself in your chest, becoming part of you as much as your heart or your brain. You are now the final object of the lost 2000. Bring them together and show us your smile. You probably ask yourself how someone knows about this if death is certain.